Hello and welcome to a very, very soggy Furrier's world, where we are back in the wonderful, wonderful world of uh, Sky Factory. I, I keep forgetting where I am. It's like realities crossing over and, and messes and stuff and things, and, and that's where I am right now. So we'll just need to top these bad boys up, otherwise they'll run out and we'll stop getting magical ores and shears and wires and things and bits and bobs. Looks like we've got a clog down there somewhere. Looking at the systems, this one looks like it's clogged proper. Proper man styly clogged. Uh, yep, dust. Dust does clog the system. There we go, let's get the dust out. And take it for a trip off the edge of the sky factory. Don't need that much dust. Really don't. I should be piping it out into maybe a deep storage unit. Maybe it's time we rolled in some deep storage units on these to solve this clogging issue. Maybe not. I don't know, I'm not that, I'm not that you know, stressed about it. How much iron have we actually got? I R. We've got over a thousand iron, so that's not too shabby. That's none too shabby. Right, we want to make some recipes up. We want to make up recipes for the 4K fluid storage, and then we want to see if we can actually store fluids in this ME system. That's what we want to do. I think we've got recipes for 4Ks, haven't we? 4K? 4? 4? No, we can't use 4K store. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That will not work. Maybe we haven't got recipes for 4K storage then. Oh yeah, we have 4K storage. We just need to do the same here that we, we, we did for that with fluids. So this, basically. Um, so we're going to need to tell it how to make these, which is no big problem. The system should easily be able to accommodate those 1Ks without even breaking sweat. Yeah, it hasn't got any of those. And we are not, I repeat, not making uh, these things start making them with pure. That's not happening. Sorry, game. You might you might imagine that's what's happening. Trust me, it ain't. There you go. Have we got those now? Processors? We're just waiting on the processors. They take a little time. I mean, the system works. The system gets them, brings them here. There we go, there's one. It's now working on a second one. So we can make that. So now we know how to make the 1K storage. Fluid storage, I might add. I'm pointing this out to you now because you know, it's, it's important to know. There's a distinction there. It's 1K fluid storage. And then we can boost that up to 4K fluid storage. Like this, with a calculation processor. And I'm bit willing to bet we haven't got any of them in the system either. So we'll clear that one. And we'll go 4K Bosch. What the hell was in the corners of them? Oh, the 1Ks. Oh, we need to craft some 1Ks. Okay. Uh, 1K fluid storage, 1K... Yeah. Well, make one then. Off you go. Stop stop griping about it and go and make one. And calculation. Doohickey Manangawak. That one. Go and make me one of them as well. That's all I'm asking. There we go. We got one of them. Bosh, bosh, bosh. And one of them. Bosh. There we go. We got the 4K fluid doohickey Manangawak cell. Then that just needs to be enveloped in a, in a big pile of tanky type looking things. Which I'm not entirely sure what they are. I'm sure they've got like valid purpose and stuff. Eventually, we're going to be having like a pile of these things full of all the like 64Ks for fluid and, and non-fluids. So that's what we've got in the middle. I think the rest of this we've got. We just haven't got these. So we need to plan out for those. It shouldn't be too bad a job. There we go. Yep, didn't think so. I could do with an interface bus at some point, an interface terminal, so I don't have to keep running down here to put things into the constructor jigs Because it's getting a bit tedious running up and down there. I'll be honest with you. Be honest with you. It's getting a little bit tedious. So now if I craft me one of them, which is good, and then we should be able to say, Bosh, make me that. Oh, we haven't made a 4K, have we? Uh, 4K fluid storage, that one. Off you pop. Make me, make me everything I need. Should take a... Will it take a little while? It might take a little while to do this, because it's got to make... Bits and bobs and stuff and... Tat and junk. Uh, and then it'll, it'll produce the thing that we need. And then hopefully, we can just pour... There we go, that's what we're after. 4K fluid storage. Uh, Bosch. So we got a recipe for 4K fluid storage and 4K standard storage. 
in our system. So if we need more storage cells, we can just click on it and say, look, make me make me some more storage cells. I just needs them. I needs them. Uh, where did that go, though? Where where did uh, the 4K flu... There it is. Um, can you make me two of them? Looks like you can. Okay, make me two of them, then. They may take a little bit of time. Here they are. One. We got one. I mean, we we had basically all the ingredients for one anyway, so that shouldn't come as a shock that it's managed to knock one of them out reasonably swiftly. And I think they'll just go in there. Yeah, they do. Excellent. Uh, F L U. Yeah, it's just taking time to chew on that other one. So we want to kind of make an import bus, a fluid import bus as well. Import. So we want the fluid import bus, this thing. So that's a sticky piston, which we know how to make. Okay, so it's 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 a similar recipe to one for the, the standard import bus. It's just different in in some ways. Uh, what exactly? We haven't got the sticky piston on board. Okay. Uh, P I S. Make me a sticky piston. Off you go. Start. Nicely done. And then it was some sort of. It's the annihilation, I believe. Yes, yeah, the annihilation core. So we need an annihilation core. C O R E. Formation annihilation. One of them bad boys. Off you go. And then th this will give us the fluid import bus, which I'm kind of hoping will suck fluid into our storage system. Uh, I think we need a different interface for monitoring whether we've got fluids in there. I don't know. I mean, I've never used ME fluid storage. This is a thing I have never done. There we go. M fluid import bus. Probably should manufacture a fluid export bus, but as long as I'm storing the damn things, I don't really mind. There we go. Fluid import bus. As long as I'm getting them stored, at this point I don't really have a use for them, so I'm not that bothered. So we've got the fluid import bus as a recipe. What was the other one I wanted to make? Fluid import bus. Oh, the terminal for viewing it. Let me, let me, let me just see. F-L-U-I-D. I'm sure there was some sort of fluid annihilation... I'm sure there was some sort of terminal. P2P tunnel. Fluid terminal. ME fluid terminal. I don't know what that, that does. ME fluid storage monitor. ME fluid conversion matrix. S fluid storage monitor? Fluid terminal? Do these these things we, we need? Does, does these things we need? I don't know if we've told it how to make illuminated panels. I'd be surprised. We've got seven of them in there. So we'll probably be able to get away with, with without it for now. But let's make both of these if we can. Uh, let's go over to this one. This one this one will allow us to auto-craft stuff. So what did we need? We needed the formation core. So craft me one of them. It makes two, but you know. You can't, you can't have everything in life. And the... What was the other thing in there? Oh, the logic processor. Okay. Logic processor. Make me one of them bad boys. Do. Off you go. So, if we get the core... In fact, we'll just wait. We'll just wait it out. And we should be able to just click that in now. Nope, not quite yet. Where is that little gold bugger? There he is. So we got an ME, store, a ME fluid terminal. And what was the other one we wanted to make? Just to be sure. Fluid storage monitor. I don't know what that does. But, you know, we, we, we can go a little on a little bit of faith here. So we don't know how to make a redstone torch. Uh, which is a little bit of a problem. We just need the one, so we get that in there. And then... Illuminated panel we've got, so we should just be able to click that in there. No, we can't because we didn't make this thing, the level emitter. Nope, that's the wrong thing completely. What are you doing now? Why are you showing me random junk now? So we need a 
calculation. There we go. Make me one of them. It's all a little bit complicated still in the ME system. It, it, the, the ME system, I'm not going to lie to you, is a little bit you know, bogged down with issues at the moment. So we've got the level emitter. And I don't know exactly what I'm constructing, which, which also doesn't help. There we go. So, let's go with the fluid terminal for starters, which can go... I want to put it there. I guess that will show fluids when I'm storing fluids. I guess that was the thing I actually wanted. I don't know what this one actually does. That does nothing. Okay, that's sweet. Let's just put that one to one side for the time being then. We've got one. I would imagine that does like like the um, storage bus mm -hmm. thing where it just attaches to a, a tank and then the contents of the tank will show up in here. But we, we want this thing to be storing all our fluids. Uh, have we got that second card? Where was it? It was down in the middle somewhere, wasn't it? There. Yeah, we got the second card. That's hunky-dory. So now we want to try and get some fluids into this bad boy. So we'll, we'll order up an import bus. Import bus. Fluid import bus. Next. Start. There we go. ME fluid import bus. Nice job. Um, and we will, we will do it down here, actually. We'll pop him there. Is he going to go active? Or is he not? He doesn't look like he's gone active. Any any reason why you've not gone active? There's power. Have we maxed that line out? I don't think we've maxed that line out. There's only three things on it. I would be surprised. Um, Millie buckets per tick. Correct tool pickaxe. Light level 11. Device missing channel. Really? Why is device missing channel? Okay. I, I'm not entirely convinced by that you know, sentiment, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's try and stick it down here somewhere. We, we'll find somewhere to stick this damn thing. Trust me. We will. That's not helpful. That's upside down, in fact. Doesn't seem to want to attach to that at all. I mean, it just it just does that. Uh, maybe if we had a tank, let's get some let's get some fluid. Job one, let's get some fluid. And we ha happen to have a handy tank of all kinds of garbage over here. Let's just milk the cow again, and let's milk yellow cow, wee wee cow, as I like to call him. I don't know why we, I'm I'm going for the the blazing pyrothium. I know pyrothium's a pain in the neck to get hold of, so I thought blazing pyrothium might be like a get out of jail free card for me, but I don't think it is. I don't think it's everything I hoped it would be. Let's put it that way. So, if I make a little stack of wood over here somewhere, here, um, and we go stacky, stacky, I think we can put the tank on there actually, like that. That would work. Then we break out this wood. And then we stick this doohickey manadawak on the bottom of that. Like that. And that says device offline. Okay. So if we empty the device into that, the tank into that, if we get some ME cable from our ME system, which I pressed the wrong button for, ME. Grab a little bit of that. Let's grab half of that. Let's not get carried away. It's too easy to get carried away. And then we go cable. Cable on the bottom of that. And cable there. Well, it didn't go live. Device missing channel. I don't understand what device missing channel means. Um... But we've got 16 buckets of blazing pyrothium in the ME system now. So that does actually work. So we can use this system to basically fill up our fluids into our ME system. Which is what we wanted to, do, to achieve here. Uh, I suspect what we can do is just use one tank. 
if we just hook up the one tank to some some business over here somewhere. I mean, we might end up with a lot more cows, so maybe we'll just use this tank. And we take that dirt out from underneath it. So it's the first block of dirt. Okay, that might be over the top of one of our... It is actually over the top of one of our smelteries, but that's okay. I'm not gutted by that. There we go. And if we put our import bus on the bottom of that bad boy to go there and then we attach that somehow onto this cable without affecting anything else which could be a little bit tricksy but I think we'll be able to pull it off like that rise that cable up to not there there that's gone a little bit wrong over there let's let's, let's get rid of that Okay, we don't want ugliness. Well, the whole damn thing's ugly. Let's let's be honest. Let's be legitimately honest about this. This is not a pretty system I'm building here. And then that goes there, and that goes there. And that should pull all the liquid endearium into here. Yeah, resonant ender, not liquid endearium. Resonant ender. We got ten buckets of resonant ender in the system. And that tank should now be empty. It is. And I didn't actually need to switch that to an output. Well, that's a bonus. So, if I put a bucket of that in there, that's gone instantly. If I put a bucket of that in there, that's gone instantly. If I put a, bu 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 puck a, bucket, puck a bucket of that in there, that gone instantly. And then grab him, and then that can go instantly too. There we go. And they're all on cooldown now. The cows have fairly hefty cooldown. And then we look in the fluid monitor. Oh, look at that. Oh, would you look at that. We've got we've got stuff. We've got fluids being stored in our ME system. I'm, I'm well pleased with that. I am well pleased. And that gelid cryothium is going to just become so beneficial when it comes to the reactor. Uh, and I think the blazing pyrothium might be good for, like, something. I don't know what. Uh. Do we really want... I don't really want biofuel. I mean, the cow's a temptation. I might just, you know, get rid of the cow. I didn't get rid of the cow. I don't think I did. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the cow. The cow's gone. The cow's literally just gone. He, he, he died horribly. So I'm quite philosophical about that. So how are we doing with the fluids here? We need to get rid of that iron again. And the gold. And the lead. And then over here... There'll be undoubtedly tin, aluminium, and silver. Excellent. So we can now store fluids in our ME system. I'm I'm very pleased with that. I've never done that before. Uh, how we use them, I don't know. Uh, and we're, we're holding constant at 55 RF per tick, so that's not too shabby. Uh, we probably need some sort of storage, energy storage cell to, to buff out all the uh, surges of power that we're going to be making. But other than that, I think we're okay. So, from Furry Ears World for now, we are going to go with a little bit of ta-ta!